So you're probably wondering why I have this uh, ridiculous looking setup in my head right now. Um, but this is a LED which I am using to uh, do head tracking on my computer and through um, through my F-16 uh, flight simulator Falcon 4 Allied Force that my dad got me with this awesome joystick set up for Christmas. Um, let me give you a quick rundown of basically how this works. The, uh, the software that's being used is this uh, free track software and basically what it does is it it uh, tracks the the LED uh, through my through my webcam and um, turns that the tracking into actual 3D head movement. So let me uh, let me show you real quick. I'll recenter it. I'll recenter it here on the, uh, on the screen, so you can kind of see this thing rotating around. And this is me behind the camera actually moving my head. Now there's a little bit of jitter because it's picking up some light sources from uh, a couple of other little spots in the room. Um, I need probably need to turn the lights off in order to get this to really work properly. Uh, which I'll do that once I actually start demoing the game. But um, you can see here it's you know moving with my head sort of. Like I said, it's jittering quite a bit because of extra light sources in the room. But in fact, I think it's actually picking up a light on the camera. Yeah, I think it was. Anyways, so let me uh, let me get the game loaded up, and I'll show you the the actual game. So I told you I'd give you a uh, rundown of the joystick setup my dad got me for Christmas. Um, so the, the the model here is the Thrustmaster Hotas Cougar. Uh, Hotas standing for Hands-On Target Acquisition System, uh, basically meaning that you should be able to control um, all the primary targeting and, and basically tactical functions of the jet uh, from all the controls on the the stick, the primary stick, and then also the uh, the throttle throttle master here. Uh, this is a pretty sophisticated um, joystick setup, mainly because it actually has its own firmware built into it that can be flashed onto the device. Not only that, but you can program these keys and all these, all the toggles and switches to do uh, really anything you want. I mean, there's a lot of different switches and toggles here, and rotators and and clickers. I mean, it's <laughs> this is a uh, as advanced as the F16 control system is really because this is a replica of the Block 50 F16 uh, control scheme. These these joysticks are used in. Uh, military flight training like uh, simulators for actual uh, combat trained fighter pilots so it uh, definitely a nice setup really just getting into learning how to use it but it goes very nicely with this uh, with the LED head tracking so it can uh, really <laughs> really add to a very immersive flight experience for sure so yeah that is the uh, Hotas Cougar and the LED head tracking So, I'll show you uh, real quickly how this uh, one yellow LED can control the view in the cockpit. So let me uh, load up instant action real quick. Probably can't see my sticks very well in the in the dark, but I'll. Uh, Give an explanation of those here momentarily. Got to go into 3D cockpit mode as soon as the game starts. All right, so here we are. Um, there's a bogey right there. As you can see, um, I am now able to freely look about the cockpit, down, up, 
left and right. It uh, definitely adds a totally different dimension to the game. Um, before, the primary cockpit control was pretty, uh, pretty jerky and whatnot, but this gives me the ability to be pretty much banking in a turn and be looking either you know up out the cockpit or even be able to look back behind me while flying, uh, scan the skies for, for targets and whatnot. And it's all it's all functions off of that uh, the one LED. Um, there are multi LED setups, which which increase your uh, increase your degrees of freedom, but for Falcon uh, 4 Allied Force, they is really not necessary. Um, so this one uh, one LED works perfectly well and really uh, makes it actually a lot easier to play the game, just because you can track targets a lot easier with this uh, with this setup. Let's see if I actually got some bogeys. A few guys out here ahead of me. Somebody's blue up down there. 